What's good, Z Freak? In today's video, I'll be serving up an in depth deck profile on a Legion deck that takes advantage of the Twilight Captain, as well as showing some gameplay with that deck. So stay tuned, and I have that coming right up for you. Welcome back. So I finally got time to showcase this uh, Legion deck that I've been messing around with. And uh, if you don't know, the Legion is run by this man named Article, Roamer of the Battlefield. Now, uh, Article has an interesting ability when he summons and when he advances to cause an anomaly. And this effect uh, is dependent on the forces you choose. I mean, he also buffs all your other Legion mans as well. So. Uh, let's talk about Article for a sec. So he got five, and he's kind of weak. He's got 500 power. Uh, he's also neutral, so he dies to weapon wizardry. That really sucks too. But uh, besides that, you know, he's a pretty cool guy that can pull off a lot of tricks. Now in this deck, uh, since I'm using Pegasus and Phoenix, uh, his anomalies are okay. Um, he gains 300 power whenever I play a card uh, because of Phoenix and he'll gain 1 DP whenever another one of my minions move thanks to Pegasus. So he can get a lot of power and a lot of damage uh, if I you know, play my cards right. Uh, it's kind of, you know, it's okay, but it's not that strong. But the reason why I'm using Pegasus and Phoenix is because of like uh, the Twilight Captain. Now, uh, she's one of the new epics that was added uh, in Glory on the 20th, and uh, she has an ability when she's summoned in advancing uh, that requires Article to be um, on your field or your base or your trash. And that gives your opponent a debuff. Um, and that debuff increases the cost of magic uh, that they use by three until the end of their turn. So uh, if you have Article in play or in, uh, anywhere, Beside your hand and deck, um, she, when she comes out, she can disrupt on your turn and your opponent's turn. So increasing the basic cost of their magic can probably set them behind uh, if they're trying to do any plays that relied on that magic. Now she also has another awesome ability if your force is Phoenix and Pegasus, which is what we chose, then the next Legion minion that you summon from your hand will have its cost reduced to zero. Now free stuff is always good in card games. So this is a really neat ability that she gets from retreating. And since we're using Pegasus, uh, by the time she comes out, we'll have uh, two movement. Uh, so you'll be able to use her when retreating and when advancing a skill, uh, both in a turn. Now, what are we gonna do with a card that costs zero? Well, uh, with Article's Anomaly, uh, granting him a lot of DP, uh, we can attack twice by playing the Paladin of Anathon. Uh, he's got swoop. And when he comes out, you have uh, Phoenix Force, not Sphinx. This card's messed up, and they still haven't fixed it. What's up with that, y'all? Anyway, um, so you've got the Phoenix Force. You put one of your Avian or Legion minions in the active state when you summon them. So uh, you can get your Article to a lot of DP with the Pegasus Force. Uh, attack with it, summon this guy, switch him back to active. Mode. Cool, cool, cool. Nice abilities, and along with uh, Laika increasing the cost of magic in your opponent's hand, uh, it can get really difficult for them to uh, counter those big swings. Now, uh, so what else have we got in the deck here? Uh, we've got Pearl the Protector. This is, uh, I guess, one of Argo's buddies. And if you've got him anywhere, uh, then he can destroy one of your opponent's minions when you play him. Also, he can't be selected as a target for your opponent's uh, magic card effect, which actually is really, really nice. So, uh, I like that. You got that decent removal spell there. And I'm using one copy of Lionheart, the Milton Captain. Now, I'm not using uh, Karam Siren, so I won't be able to get his second effect. But I just have one copy of him in here, uh, mainly as a removal. So when he's summoned and when he's advanced, if I've got Article present, then he can send all my opponent's minions to their base in the rest state, no questions asked. And now I'm just I'm just testing this guy, that's why I have one copy of him. He comes up every so often. This has a decent removal option. 
and I'm also using Sakura the Vermilion Captain. Now this one is very interesting. Uh, she costs three, but still needs article for her ability, which is kind of, you know, kind of iffy. Uh, it's kind of weird that you can't really play her until an uh, article is out if you want to gain value. So I'm not using uh, the appropriate forces for her, but I don't get the second effect. But uh, when I summon or advance her, if article is present, I increase my movement by one. And now having all that extra movement is great because I can make my article have a lot of DP and I can also use that movement uh, to abuse Laika to increase the cost of magic and to uh, reduce the cost of the minions in my hand. So that's pretty much it for the special legion minions I'm using. Uh, you know you gotta shout out to Asuka because honestly the deck won't work without her because she can search out harder. And we got two copies of the Stone Sphinx as well, uh, who gains 2 DP if you have Article present. Uh, this card is really nice. Uh, well, if Article is on the field, this thing will be 600 power, 2 DP for 2 mana, which is really nice. And also uh, testing Croc Shark. Now, I actually had three copies of Croc Shark in here, uh, because if you have the Pegasus Force, uh, when you retreat him, you can give one of your Chimera or Legion minions 200 VP and 1 DP for the duration of the turn. And I thought that was really strong, but it just wasn't, it just wasn't that effective. Uh, especially with him only having 200 power, he, he's not able to defend against anything early on, so uh, I actually replaced him with Stone Sphinx, uh, and that's been working out really well for me. Actually, I'd probably replace the one Croc Shard with Stone Sphinx uh, as well, but I like to have fun with a lot of different colored cards in my deck, so that's why I, I have the one copy of the Croc Shard. Uh, now, one another cool thing about Legion is they have uh, magic in every color, and the colored mana cost of these cards can be paid by using mana belonging to the Legion class. So this costs three and it takes two red. Uh, I don't, I don't have any red mana elk. I have uh, <laughs> Sakura, but um, that's the only really red mana I have in the deck. So I can use Legion mana to pay for this card, and uh, you know, early game you have uh, Armor Pecker, and this is Legion, so I can use this card in my mana to pay for any of these four spells that I have here. Oops. So let's start off with uh, Rock Launch. This one's just pretty basic, uh, minus 200 VP to our opponent's minion, and this card's really good because it lets you draw a card after. Uh, so while, you know, the... BP minus might not be that much. Oh, um, it deals it so it doesn't stand to the end of the turn. And this card replaces itself, so uh, I value this one pretty highly. I had two copies and I went up to three because it was so good. Uh, Gargantuan Gust is a great card. Um, and this yellow mana can be paid with uh, Legion mana. And this card does not target and it will return the opponent's attacking main to the hand. Uh, I've got one copy just as a uh, fail safe against uh, OTK decks. So if someone wants to bring some uninteractable one-shot combo against me, hopefully I'll have this in my hand and I can bounce that minion back to their hand uh, without targeting it. Uh, Draconic Disruption is uh, very good. Um, <laughs> it only costs one colored mana, which is, which is crazy. Uh, because for three mana, you can put two of your opponent's minions and forces in the rest state. That effect is really nice for three mana. Um, and especially since I can use Legion mana on that ability. Uh, two copies of this, um, if you want to optimize the deck, I'd probably run three. At the end of the video, I'll show you an optimized version of this deck, uh, if you uh, really want to test it out. And lastly, I'm using one copy of Sunken Ship. Uh, I like this. Um, it kind of is good against decks that go wide, I guess. You don't really need this card, but um, you can set up for some interesting scenarios. It's also really good against Mask, which is still good. Um, even though Glory is all green and Blue Mask are still dominating. So, um, you can. this is really good against the two cost minions that you can't uh, select them with your ability. Since this one doesn't target, you reduce the DP to 1, you don't even have to block. Uh, they won't morph because they won't deal damage. So I think I went over every card, every base minion except uh, Balk. I'm using this because it's a good uh, flash defensive option. For my first version of this deck, uh, I was testing this 
and I just did not have enough defensive spells, so I was just like, what's the point of Phoenix? I had to put something in here, and uh, Alex doesn't quite do it. I don't really need the mana that bad, uh, but this Vogue has 300 power, which is a decent swoop power, uh, minus 100 BP to your opponent's entire field. Pretty useful if you think about it, and it's got 1 DP, so it can, it can attack as well. Um, and if you summon this when you have Artigo out, it's kind of like your Artigo is at 400 power. Uh, because it'll gain 300 due to Phoenix and um, your opponent's mains will lose 100. So it's just a good uh, combat trick if you ever need it. Now, uh, I want to talk about Merce Holder. Uh, so when I was testing this originally, I was like, the only base minion I had was Sheldon. And I'm like, I need some other kind of base minion. So uh, I saw a game with try this one out and it's pretty genius. Now uh, this will help you accelerate your mana quicker uh, because when you place it you can put one of your minions from the field into your base and it won't use your movement and it'll even activate the wind retreating abilities. Uh, so later, later in the game you can use it on Laika uh, and it'll shove her into your base and you'll be able to place it on for free without even using your movement. So this card is really nice. Uh, also. Um, I think we have kind of moved away from minions that can move, from base minions that can move. Uh, this this minion can move from the base, and it has one DP, uh, so it makes it a it makes it easier to use launch earlier if I need to, uh, and it feels better if someone breaks one of my forces to play this um, into my base rather than Sheldon. Uh, so I really I really like this card, and I really appreciate. Um, having this in the deck and then Sheldon the Navy Wizard is always going to be OP uh, Foresight can really be uh, can really go nuts in this deck if you use it at the right time uh, Launch can really go nuts in this deck since we have a lot of win advancing abilities um, and it won't use your movement to put it in active state so this card is also really good and then uh, Bubble Shield when you put on an article or the Pearl Dragon which can't be affected by magic cards. Remember I said I really like that ability. Uh, you can put it on one of them and try to uh, go for game. Uh, it can't be blocked on a blue or neutral minion. So, so that is the deck. I feel like I was pretty thorough going over that. Um, so I hope you all like the profile. Now I'm going to get into probably two replays because I had uh, some really neat games uh, that went really well. So I want to show off what the deck can do. And then I'll probably hop into a ranked game and uh, see if I can win there. So let's go ahead and hop over to the replay. Alright, so now this replay uh, is going to show the strength of Laika uh, and her win summon and win advancing ability that increases the uh, cost of the opponent's magic in their hand. So we're saying it's a Curon deck, so I know that they, uh, they use magic. It's blue with the Jelly Girl, so yeah, they definitely want to take advantage of magic. But uh, Laika can pretty much make that harder for your opponent. So um, when when you have Argyle out and you summon her, it increases uh, the cost of your opponent's magic by three. So it's gonna make it really hard for them to defend. So they use their Sheldon and get extra. Um, they play Sheldon and do some more cards. Now I'm summoning Asuka to get Argyle from my deck. Uh, these Legion decks don't work without Article, so if you don't see Article, you're just kind of screwed. Um, so, thankfully we had the cards in our hand to be able to use two movement that turn to get extra mana. You want to you wanna get as much mana as you can quickly. Now this deck can't really ramp that fast, but you know, you do what you can. Now they're doing their play with the, uh, with the Circus dude to get that Magical Parade and draw a bunch of cards. So now it's on. Every time they play an artist, they're going to play free magic. So it's going to be fun. Go ahead and bring Artigal out. We've got a sick animation. All those swords is really cool. Moving the base, and then we're going to launch out Asuka. Just to get another blue mana and have something out. We can't leave Artigal out because Weapon of Wizardry would just destroy him. Like, it's so unfair. Um, here comes Ellie for Ghost of Surprise. And I don't know why they hit Bubble Shield, because they didn't attack. I know they were trying to get a token, but, you know. I guess they're saving the Ghostly Surprise for my turn, but uh, I got a surprise for their ass. Let's go. <laughs> so we get an extra movement. We're going to summon Laika. 
move her to base and advance her. So now, since we move her to base, we get to play a Legion minion for free. Move her to base again for another free Legion minion. Launch her out to, to disrupt my opponent more. Now check this out. We've, we've summoned Laika and advanced her twice. That increases the cost of magic in my opponent's hand by 9. They could try to defend against this, but it's no way. Not with their magic costing 9 more, and they've only got 9 mana. So that, that goes to show the power of Laika's uh, when summon and when advancing ability. And her win retreating ability because I played two Pearl Dragons for free that turn. To be honest, Sheldon is just OP. <laughs> Sheldon is so good. So, now they're trying to defend, but they just don't have it enough. So. Yeah, we definitely got game this turn. That boop. Boop. And we're going to summon him. So we stand our dragon and hit the bubble shield to make it unblockable and go for game. That was GG. Like it was incredible that game. This one's also going to kind of show the power of Laika, <laughs> to be honest. Now, I remember this game. Ellie told me to send back Article. If you've only got one Article in your hand, don't send it back. Your deck cannot operate without Article. So, make sure you have Article. Like, if you have Asuka in your hand, it's okay to send Article back because you can search for it. But, if you don't have a way to search for Article and you've only got one in your hand, then you need to keep it. Because, like I said, if you don't have article, your deck's just gonna do nothing. So, all right. So it looks like we're playing against Blue Mask. I'm gonna do his typical attack my Phoenix. You know, whatever. <laughs> but uh, gonna ramp up a little bit. Throw that Stone Sphinx. So I like that. This guy's a lot stronger than uh, the two cost Orleon. So uh, I should be able to block. Okay. So now they're gonna do their. You know, extra movement launch to ramp um, and that's going to get them to six and seven next turn so they can transform them to the royal sea dragon but um we play the Mer soldier to move to base now we got six play Laika, move them to base we can play argo for free now i advance like a um to once again increase the basic cost of magic cards in their hand make it harder to play weapon and wizardry against them Sunken Ship was so good here um, because they equipped it with the gauntlet so it couldn't be blocked. So I just lowered the DP to zero, so no more for you. Okay. Retreat her to play the Pearl Dragon for free. Advance her to increase the cost of magic. Now you can't weapon of wizardry because it costs seven and you can't block either. So didn't have a swoop minion, so that was game there. Playing stuff for free is always good. All right, let's go ahead and hop into a rank game, and uh, hope you're not going against the tryhard deck. But so this has kind of tier two; it's a little difficult to win against like the top top deck. Like, uh... oh, another Kiron deck. So I like this should come in handy here. I'm going first, I do want to keep Mer Soldier. If I'm going first, oh, so I guess I can hold on to Leica as well. Just to make sure I have her, but uh, okay. I've been I've been trying to uh, record until I get like a good game, and I it's been like three games in a row where I just don't start off good. Okay. Okay. Caron Soldier. Neutral mana? Nah. Um, Cause there's no more chance for pollen, so. Cause I gotta use my movement. Definitely wanna use your movement every turn if possible. And, hmm. It doesn't seem worth it here. He could easily play a reactive shield and just ruin my entire day. And it's, it's, it's pretty early in the morning, so. <laughs> I want to go to work grumpy because I got wrecked by a carrier swan. I wonder if this is a OTK deck, like a OTK version. And 
the thing about these Legion cards, the low cost, it's just like, they do absolutely nothing unless you have, unless you have Article. And they don't want me to play, uh, this. Okay, well, alright, I'm gonna play it and hopefully I can do some pro plays with the rock. Uh, launch out. Well, no, I can't because I forgot that they can't be targeted by magic, so... Okay. Um... Sure. Okay. So here's, like, a play that you'll do. Um, if I had a one cost, I could have done this a turn earlier because of Merce Soldier, but I just didn't draw any. So, yo, what is your problem? Okay. No, I'm not doing that. I'm talking about Artigal. And then, I'm gonna advance her. So now the magic costs more. Uh, it costs three more? Nah. He can still obliteration beam. So I'm gonna pass and well yeah, because he can still obliteration beam. I don't like that. I'm gonna pass. Let's see, let's see how this goes. Oh, six, here come the reset. Okay, that's it. Alright, well. Oh, look, I won't cross. Okay, Mer Soldier. Coming in clutch here. Moving her to the base. I ain't got no dang Legion in my hand to play. But it's all good. Why you want me to move Asuka out? I have this, which will help in the OTKing. Uh, I don't need to bring Asuka out, so check this out. Unless he has a swoop minion, then I'm screwed. Six mana. He doesn't have Alex, does he? He won't have Alex, no way. Okay, so check this out. This is what we should be moving because we have Article in play. So it doesn't take any movement to move her. Uh, we move her to the field. Let's also move Lyca to the field. Okay. Now the magic costs more to cast. We're gonna hit that uh, Draconic Disruption. Let's see, too. Now, because of the cure on force, he could still use obliteration beam, he could still use X cannon. So, what I'm gonna do to ensure that uh, I'm okay is. Move her to base. Move her back out. Now, the magic cost increased by six. He's only got six mana, there's no way he can cast a spell. Unless he has a swoop minion, that's game. Nice, GG. So yeah, they had kind of a weird start. That was that one turn where they moved to base and did nothing was kind of weird. But um, you know, yeah, that's that's how that goes. So yeah, I'm gonna show you all the optimized version of this deck in my opinion, and then we can close out the video. So stay tuned. All right, so uh, here's a more optimized version of this deck in my opinion. Uh, this one was from uh, Kakajima Game Channel. Uh, I will leave a link to that in the info box. So if you want to see gameplay with this version of the deck, uh, go ahead and check that out. But um, this one's got a lot less of the one ofs and uh, just maxed out on the copies of the best cards. So this one's using three priest, with three paladin, which I couldn't show off in my video because I never drew them. Um, and then also goblin archer is a really good card as well. Uh, because it's removal, which this deck so desperately needs, and stops minions from entering the active state outside of the standby phase. So, uh, Ouroboros um, will stop working, which is good because it'll make it harder for them to block. Uh, they won't be able to do crazy restand OTKs on you as long as you have this card out as well. So, yeah, and it's got three copies of. Uh, Draconic Disruption because this card, as you can see, is crazy. It won't be the last game. So, yeah, that is it. 
for this first Legion showcase. I'm gonna try and mess around with some of the other Legion minions to um, see what fun stuff you can do there. So uh, go ahead and check out some more of the videos uh, that I have over here. And make sure you hit that like button because I know you like this video because Legion is freaking awesome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button too if you're not subscribed. Come part of the Rare Cuisine Legion. Sure, we'll call it that for now. And uh, see all the Z Freak in the next video. Later.